How did Kendra die? Was that ever established? I read the autopsy report. It was definitely a bullet wound. It went right through her shoulder, clean hole all the way through. The coroner said that she bled to death, but could have survived if she was brought to a hospital right away. I don't understand this. Not at all. Huh. That's just grim. Did you know Emil Haskins at all? I don't know much. Just what Leah used to tell me. I got the impression he was a deadbeat. Always out of a job, always late with child support payments, things like that. Guess he doesn't have to worry about that stuff anymore. Well, that was really not kind of you, Mr. Man, but I will not call you out on it because I did not get the option to do so. There are tons of case files listed here. I'm not going to ask about them one by one. Well, never mind them. George and Leah both were members of a self-help group. They called it the Grace Group. Oh yeah, Leah told me about that place. She did? Yeah, she didn't go into detail, but I know it meant a lot to her. She used to tell me that nobody could ever fall so far that they couldn't still reach for a helping hand. I'm not sure what that meant, but she used to say it all the time. Is there anything else? Officer Piero was juggling a demanding job, a growing daughter, and a deadbeat ex-husband. There was immense pressure on her, but I still don't buy that she would do what she did. Huh. I did not actually expect there to be any more he would say on that topic, which is why I kind of skipped through the beginning of it. Well, I better go. Thanks for the help. Sure. Yeah, that was very forthcoming of him. Uh, now let us... Um, check out the victim's apartment. The victim's digs, yo. Hi, will you Hi. let me through? Yes, miss. My name is Rose Angela Blackwell. I was told you'd be expecting me. Is this about George? That's right. I still can't believe it. But here's the key. Twelfth floor, penthouse A. Thanks. Aha! Uh -huh. Success! Uh, so he won't know anything about the Karth file, of course, but maybe the Grace Group. Did George ever mention the Grace Group? Grace Group? Does it have to do with Grace Church? It might. Hmm. I know he often went to Grace Church services, but he never mentioned any Grace Group. Sorry. Hmm. Well, yeah, that is all for him, I'm pretty sure. And hey, we don't have to guess which <laughs> apartment um, he's living in. Uh, let me just try something for the hell of it. Joey, come on. Jam out the signal. Oh, uh, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> well, now. Well, well, well. Let's, um... Whoever this Michael is, he seems to know quite a lot. So he can see this too. I wonder if, if this really is people being psychic like Rosa or... Well, whatever. Not that it matters <laughs> in the grand scope of things. So this Michael has a source who knows about bestowers. About me. This is starting to get personal. Huh. Well, this is getting a bit creepy. But still, 
we shall press on, of course. Yeah, well, we did not actually see this message <laughs> in Emil's computer, but um, yeah, George Austin did reply to this, and we saw George Austin's <laughs> reply in Emil's inbox. Uh, yeah, I do feel for the guy. What in the name of every unholy thing on south of the equator is Chachkas? I think they might be candlesticks, possibly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rose has got this. I don't even know what they are. Um, Joey, comment please. Some little tin Chachkis that are probably worth a million bucks. Uh, he has a very different knowledge of the arts <laughs> than Rosa does. <laughs> and yeah, it's a flask glow thing. One of those glowing screen things. <sighs> yeah. I'd never sneak it past the doorman. That'd look amazing on my bathroom wall. Darling, that thing's bigger than your entire bathroom. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I just, um, maybe I'm sharing too much here as well. Uh, but actually, I've been in bathrooms, um, that are less than one and a half meter square. Which really is <laughs> smaller than that painting, so yeah. The, the smaller bathrooms, well, bathrooms that are too small to fit that painting, is a thing. I don't need somebody else's sh Well, you need to look at it. Bok choy, garam masala, quinoa, branzino. It's either a shopping list or a beauty <laughs> spell. Huh, you know, I actually recognize most of that. Um, and uh, quinoa is awesome stuff, by the way. Um, but it's... Um, yeah, I've been <laughs> talking about irrelevant stuff for quite enough time in this playthrough. Hey, I can go outside. This is private property, you know. Hmm? Oh, hey. Um, hi there. Yes, um, hi there. What are you doing up here? Uh, well, yeah. How do you think either of these options are going to be uh, received? Who are you? Ha, huh. very funny. Wait, you're serious? Um, yes. Well, this is new. Anyway, I'd best head back in. But I'm sure I'll see you around. Ta. Um. Right. It might be pretty in the spring, but for now all the plants are dead. Joey. Joey, could you come out here? Relax, I'm here. Uh, you are going to, um... burglarize this person. Well, I mean, not that he, he can actually steal. <laughs> yeah. Whatever this note says, it's too dark to read it. No, this is a bit of a strange puzzle, and I find it actually rather creepy that there's no furniture in here. Let me, what well, kind of helps with a puzzle, actually. Uh, let me just take care of that real quick. Um, and there you go. <laughs> it says, I know about Heather, and it's signed by someone named Jay. As easy as that. Uh, but yeah, this ghost is going to embark, well, set us on the path of a uh, somewhat dark and 
painful side story. Uh, just, well, yeah. Fair warning and all. Hi there. I'm sorry, have we met? Kind of. I think you met my friend earlier. I see. You're both looking after George's place. Yeah, something like that. My name's Joey. Joey Malone. Why don't you tell me yours? You honestly don't know who I am. I'm afraid not. I admit, I'm fascinated. I know your name, but you don't know mine. It's not often that I'm in this position. So, are you gonna tell me or what? I think not. I want to savor this for just a little while longer. Hmm. Are you famous or something? So what is this? You famous or something? Or something. Well, never mind. So you actually live here? Uh, so to speak. Yes. Why are you so surprised? Well, this place is kind of, well, empty. I live alone. That's not what I mean. Look around. There's nothing in here. What on earth are you talking about? <sighs> Never mind. So, yeah, this ghost, of course, since she's still here, has not come to terms with her death. I know about Heather. Do you know anything about this? About what? This note. The one on your floor. I have no idea. It has nothing to do with me. And what's it doing here? I have no idea. Okay, okay, relax. We hit a nerve. The note is signed J. Struck a nerve. Who's J? I have no idea, and I don't know anything about any note. Okay. Can I ask you a couple questions? You don't even know my name, and you want to ask me questions. Well, maybe if you actually told me your name. Yeah, what he said. Like I said, this is way too much fun. Come on, you know my name, it's only fair. I can't tell if you're being genuine or if you're just playing with me. Why not both? Well, the night is young. See if you can figure it out. Hmm. I wonder... Well, well, we're not really supposed to do this right now either way. So... Well, whoever you are, I'll see you around. Say hi to George oh. for me, if you see him. Well, I mean... Um, I, I think that uh, we will get her name from uh, somewhere else. And I'm being... Uh, uh, vague for... for a reason. Uh, I will explain more when uh, we get to... Uh, well, yeah, when we uh, get there, kind of thing. Uh, wait, let me see if I can actually do this. Oh yeah, I can, huh. No answer. Oh, really? Well, that's, uh, that's too bad. 